The Fincher Queen has seen better days and currently shows the remains of a 2008 Christmas party that was never finished. The ship was taken over in 2012 by Andy Schwab, who adores the derelict piece of history that was under the threat of demolition. Uh, I see opportunity in it. Right? I just see the good times that people had. I remember those, right? You have 325 people doing the bunny hop around the decks and the ship's still not moving, right? And they're having the time of their lives. And that's cool. I like to do that. Since 2008, a business in the boat has not been viable, but with a new lease signed with the city of Penticton, things are looking up. So yes, before I had a ship, but without a dock, not a business. And so now that it has a new home, it's a business once again, and so it makes good economic sense. But getting it up and running is not going to be cheap. Uh, to build a new dock, it's expensive. Uh, it's almost a thousand feet underground from the city streets to get to where we need to be to build the dock. And so sewer, water and power have to get there. And uh, that's several hundred thousand dollars and another hundred thousand dollars to build a dock and another hundred thousand to fix the ship. I'm looking for a half a million dollars through interested people. Despite the hefty price tag, Schwab is confident his vision is coming to fruition. Yeah, no question. No question. Not, not a doubt in my mind. It, the ship already exists, right? If it, I mean, if it wasn't here, that would be another issue, but it's here. So it just needs a place to operate from and some smart people, and away it goes. And thousands will go for rides. In fact, he believes the Fintry Queen could be taking its inaugural cruise down to Penticton and welcoming guests as early as next spring. I just want to get on the water every day. That's, that's really my goal in life. I just love being out here. And if I have to bring 325 friends to get here, so be it, right? Many promises and plans have been made before for the Fintry Queen, and time will tell whether this old ship will set sail for Penticton or the scrapyard. I'm Carmen Weld for Castanet News on Okanagan Lake.